Okay, so this is a website. Please copy and paste. This is the link, the form 2553 on PDF form. Click there and the first page you will see will be this one. This is what it will tell you where to fax it, fax it or mail it to. It's easier to fax it because you can get a confirmation right away. Uh, we have our, we are in California, so we'll be faxing it to this number after it's completed. And this is the second page. So we will complete the LLC name or corporation name. Here, the address, the EIN, the date incorporated. So you'll be looking at your LLC documents and the date that they incorporated, that's the date you will have here. And then we're in California. This is the state we're incorporated. Again, you can look at your LLC documents. D, don't worry about it unless you change your EIN. And you can do E. E, it will be, it's very important. This is the date that you are asking to be taxed as an escort. So let's say we form our LLC on 2020, then we can elect to be an escort for the whole year of 2021. Let's say the other example will be if we incorporated on March 2021, then this day will can never cannot be before the incorporated name. It will be either on or after that date. So we want to start on March 1st, 2021 for the whole year until December. So all you will do here, if you incorporate it after, it will be happy it will have the same date as here if it's for that year that you want to be taxed as an escort. Okay, in letter F will be calendar year, always we'll make it simple. So which this means is that you will be filing a tax return for the whole year starting on January in this, through December. Again, that will be moving forward. If here it's uh, March, because you incorporated in March of this year of 2021, then you will still do calendar year and they will know that um, you are filing for the whole year, okay? Uh, so letter G, if you have more than 100 shareholders, which uh, this is not a video for that, don't click on this. Uh, but if you do have over 100 shareholders, uh, you can just, if some of them are husband and wife, you can make them one but that's um, not important for us, so we'll skip it. Don't mark or do anything here. Letter H, this is your name in your phone number here. Okay, so you are the president. I, my name is Ebony, I will be the end president. And then here, it will be my phone number. And they will, in case they, will, they need to contact you to clarify any information. Here, don't do anything, I'll explain this in the next slide. And at the bottom, you will sign. You are the president again um, today. In this case, my example is that I'm 100% owner. So I uh, will make it easier. So the first signature here, it's yours. You're the president again in today's date, the day that you're filing this form. Uh, so this form is due two months and a half after your election date. So after you've decided to form an um, LLC. So I want to be taxed as an LLC for the whole year of 2021. I need to file this by March 15. If I'm late, you can add, you can still file it. Just make sure you add this to this form. You add this at on top, uh, file pursuant to blah, blah, blah. And the, on letter I, you will be, you just need a very simple explanation. You can just copy and paste this explanation and they will take, okay? Then the next page basically will be, again, your name, your signatures, today's date. I'm a 100% owner and I acquired this uh, shares on the date of incorporation or the day, yeah, the day that the LLC was formed. This is my social security here and my tax year as a shareholder is December 31st. So it will be one signature here and one signature on the first page and that's it. This is the two forms that you'll be faxing to the number on the first page based on the state that you're in. And after three to four weeks, the IRS should be sending you a notice like this saying that your, your corporation was um, accepted. Or you can also file this 2553 with your tax return if you're filing for 
um, you know, if it's your first year filing as an S Corp, your tax accountant can show you, or I also have a video on this if you're doing it through TurboTax. If you're filing it through TurboTax as your first year and you're filing with an S Corp, that form 2553, then you can file this form through TurboTax and they will help you. They can you can just sign these two forms and upload it to their software and they will file your return with a 2553 form. Now, I, exp I, I have a little explanation on that video. Okay, hope this helped. Please subscribe and follow me for more tax information for your businesses. Thank you.